An Arabian fable tells the story of a traveler and his camel. During the night, the camel asks his master if he can place his nose inside the tent for warmth. After the master allows the camel's nose, soon the camel's head and finally its whole body enters the tent. The moral of the story is, once a small act is accepted, larger, more undesirable consequences will follow. Sometimes we may think, one small transgression, one small sin, one small lie won't hurt anything. What we discover is that the small misdemeanor will lead to felonious ends. Proverbs 29.12 makes clear that if a ruler pays attention to falsehood, all his officials will be wicked. When we think some small wrongful decision won't matter, we don't see how this action will impact others. The phrase pays attention goes beyond just hearing or listening. It means that the falsehood is embraced, believed, and acted upon. What is the result? When a leader accepts a false report, advances an unjust cause, or bends the truth, he or she sends a clear message to others. Everyone else can do the same. In this summer Truth and Two series, I am asking the question, what will you replace it with when it's gone? I'm concerned that accepting lies delivered to us through politicians, courts, media, or elites will endanger not only our country, but our laws, churches, families, universities, and every institution. This week, I am calling us not to give an inch so that others can take a mile, to draw a line in the sand, to say this far but no farther, to say with Martin Luther, here I stand, I can do no other, and to say to the camel, keep your nose out of the tent. Continuing our summer series for the Comenius Institute, this is Dr. Mark Eckel, Executive Director of the Center for Biblical Integration at Liberty University, personally seeking truth wherever it's found.